Bloodsuckers, it's been a bit since I've done a Digimon Y video, but I am gonna start doing these again. They're not gonna be constant. It's worn me out, and I'm sorry my videos haven't been very constant as well. I've been kind of stuck in life right now, but anyways, let's get on to the video. Um, first off, I'm gonna look at my notes here. Oh yeah. At the very beginning, they have Gabumon, Biomon, Gamumon, and Tentamon, and, well, Tentomon, I'm sorry, and, uh, Palmon, guarding, uh, the Heights in Gate. But the thing is, none of their mouse move. It's like it's a still image, and I believe it is a still image. They just added the snow effect and Tentomon's wings moving. That's it. You know, Tento Tentomon's mouth never moves, but you can tell it's a still image just by the fact none of the other Digimon mouths are moving. Now, from there, we go to, of course, finding out that, um, Cody's dad knew about the digital world, but wasn't made a digital de digidestin, and a lot of people wonder why, but the, the reason is, is him and Oricana couldn't actually get to the digi world, digital world, they could talk to the Digimon through their games and stuff, but they just couldn't get to the digital world at that time. But they always were trying to. And... Sorry, if you see my model keep looking off, it's because I have a new tablet so I can take notes and stuff. And possibly play other stuff eventually here on the channel. But, uh, so I'm looking at my tablet to look at my notes for things that I want to cover from the episode. Oh, okay, yeah. And I always forget, so the next thing that's on the agenda, I always forget that, um, Orikawa actually, or Orikawa actually made, uh, Arukunimon and Mamimon. But that was after Cody's dad died. Now, I believe this is when Mal, my oldest mom, might have started getting into Arukana's head. Then again, I could be wrong. I think it could have been maybe after he started. After, uh, wait, was it Mal? Yeah, it was Mal Myos. Sorry, I had to think for a second. I was making sure I was saying the right Myotis mod name here. But, um, so I believe what happened was, even though he was sad and he put his DNA into. Articunimon and well he made Articunimon and Mamimon out of his DNA. He wasn't bad because they even show when he's walking away from his grave with it and he still had short hair that he was sad, yes, and alone again. But he wasn't bad. And he even shows it to Cody's dad's grave. A picture that he drew which I'm assuming is when they were kids and I think when Mao my oldest mom took control of Oroku not Oru Orikawa mon did I just say- Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to call- Well, technically he is a Digimon right now, if you want to 
say it like that, but I did not mean to say Orikawa, man. What I meant to say was Orikawa is after they beat Mao when he was Venice Mao. Venom. Venom. My oldest one. I'm sorry, I am so tired. This video, I don't mean to be. But, it is what it is. Moving on. Stop. This is actually a complaint right here. So, Noria, or however you say her name, gets the flower, which Cody says it's her energy, but let's be honest, it's her soul that he's absorbing. Because that flower that blooms from the Dark Spore is actually... I can't remember its name, but it's known as the Flower of, ja of Death for Japan. And Japanese as well, it's known as the Flower of Death. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but that's a sack fl flower that blooms on her head. So... Cody tries to stop Arikamon from- I just said it again. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Arikawa from taking her soul. But Arikawa hits him, but there's no sound effect. Was this a lazy- Was this because they were lazy or because they forgot to add it? I don't know, but I think it's kind of stupid that they didn't add it anyways. Now, yeah, moving on from that. Uh, shit. Now we can get Cody's grandpa shows up after Black War Grandma shows up when the flower blooms and starts talking to Orikawa and he gets through to Orikawa. But only for a second because as soon as he gets through, Orikawa is about to walk over because his face turns happy and he was getting ready to embrace him because he said he wanted to be Orikawa's friend and they could talk about about uh Cody's dad and get through it together. But it only as I said it only lasted for a second and Orika ends up being manipulated again by Mal Myotismon and that makes him attack Cody's grandpa, but Black or Grandma steps in and takes attack instead, and that's when we get the glimpse of Mal Myotis one through the soul that he sold a sword, basically. And now this last one is just actually more. I don't know why my model looked off the other way because I didn't look that way, but. Is more of saying goodbye to Black War Greymon because Black War Greymon does end up sacrificing himself and it helps kinda I guess because when it does take like two maybe three more episodes until they get to the digital world for them to um, get in it, but at the same time it doesn't because they still get there. And I have to ask, was it worth him giving up his life? He could have maybe survived somehow, I don't know. It's Digimon, they always pull something out of their ass. But at the same time, there's a time when a character must go, and I guess it was Black or Greymon's time to go at that time. But anyways, um, I am going to try to stream Digimon World Redigitize Decode here on the channel sometime in the near future. I just gotta set my tablet up for it. But I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Mwah.